Welcome to Biologics Modular in Indianapolis, Indiana, manufacturers of modular clean rooms. What we're going to do today is show you how to use the Marcor Dry Fog System. The Marcor Dry Fog System is a clean room disinfection system that will disinfect up to 35,000 cubic feet at one time with one machine. It will disinfect walls, ceilings, behind equipment, underneath equipment, everywhere in a clean room, ensuring a complete disinfection. The system uses MinCare. MinCare is a parasitic acid and hydrogen peroxide based chemical. A very green chemical, yet very effective. The Marcor dry fog system puts out a 7.5 micron droplet. That droplet is so small it does not wet down surfaces. It bounces off, it evaporates, and it does a vapor phase disinfection, leaving behind no residuals on any surfaces at all. You control the relative humidity in the clean room to ensure that the dry fog has gone everywhere, ensuring a complete and total disinfection. Marcor has 450 dry fog machines in use worldwide, primarily in pharmaceutical, biotech, and lab animal clean rooms. Basically any aseptic facility you need to disinfect. Specifically companies like Pfizer, Bristol-Myers Squibb, GSK, and Griffles Biologicals utilize the Marcor dry fog machine. This machine will help you with USP 1072. Compliance with USP 1072 is using a sporicidal disinfectant weekly or monthly in your clean or aseptic area. MinCare is 22% hydrogen peroxide, 4.5% parasitic acid. It is a concentrated solution that you need to dilute down. When you're using it in the dry fog machine, dilute it down to between 3 and 10 percent. That percentage that you choose will help you in the log reduction of your microorganisms in your clean area. MinCare is a potent antimicrobial agent developed by MinTech Corporation over 25 years ago, primarily for dialysis and water system disinfection. Effective against a broad spectrum of microorganisms, including and not limited to bacteria, yeasts and molds, viruses, and bacteria spores. MinCare is hydrogen peroxide and parasitic acid. Parasitic acid attacks bioburden, tearing the cell wall open by lysis, thus killing the microorganism. When we atomize MinCare in our dry fog system, due to Brownian motion in that clean room, that parasitic acid goes everywhere and does a complete clean room disinfection. These are the components to the Marcor dry fog system. Marcor dry fog system again utilizes MinCare that goes in the tank. This is the head which is actually the heart of the unit that puts out the seven and a half micron droplet and gives you the ability to disinfect 35,000 cubic feet of clean room at one time. Dry fog remote to turn the unit on and off when you're outside the clean room. Compressed air connections, different connections and piping. Regulator to regulate the compressed air to the tank as well as to the head. And the dry fog machine tank itself, which utilizes MinCare, water, and compressed air. This is a fully assembled dry fog unit. It takes about 10 minutes to put together with one person, but we'd recommend too. It makes it a little bit easier to assemble. The unit is approximately eight feet in height for high clean room ceiling optimization. Once it's assembled, you would add the proper amount of MinCare and water to the tank, and you're ready to dry fog. Just to describe all the components of the unit, Compressed air comes in the bottom of the dry fog remote. The dry fog remote turns on and off with this remote control when you're outside the clean room, allowing you to operate it and not be in the clean area. Compressed air connection to the dry fog unit. Pressure gauges and regulators regulating the compressed air to the tank as well as to the head. 
This is the dry fog head, the heart of the dry fog machine. This is shown with one nozzle. One nozzle will do 8,750 cubic feet of space. Add three nozzles and you can disinfect 35,000 cubic feet at one time with one Marcor dry fog machine. Now that we've got our dry fog machine assembled, it's ready to calculate the parameters for your application. With this simple Excel-based program that we supply, everything is done for you with the exception of putting in the inputs. So what we calculate here, total room volume in cubic meters, or cubic feet converted to cubic meters, relative humidity, and temperature at the time of fogging. Input your number of, number of nozzles right here, and that'll tell you exactly how much water to introduce, how much min care to introduce, and at four and a half bar, which is 65 PSI, it'll take you 33 minutes to completely disperse the dry fog into your clean room. The only other thing you need to know is you need two and a half SCFM per nozzle for the Marcor dry fog machine. Now that we've got our dry fog machine assembled, I'm gowned up and ready to be in the clean room. There's a few things you need to do regarding room prep before we can start fogging. The first thing we need to do is turn off your HVAC system so you can contain the fog in the clean room. The second thing is place your humidity sensors strategically throughout the room. The third thing is tape off any doors or pass-throughs so you don't get the fog to leak out into any areas you don't want it to go. Okay, so once I've placed my humidity sensors, our HVAC is off, and I'm just finishing up sealing up this door between this other clean room that we don't want the fog to go into while we're dispersing it. Simply use blue painter's tape and make sure the seal is good on the top and bottom to make sure the fog doesn't leak through into any areas you don't want it to go to. We've prepped our clean room, we've placed our humidity sensors, taped off any doors and pass-throughs. The dry fog machine is ready to do its thing. Last step you need to do are place your spore strips throughout the clean area. This will validate your microbial kill in your clean room. We started our dry fog procedure after our room is completely prepped. It'll take 33 minutes to completely fog this clean room and then you've got to dispel the fog by turning on your HVAC system and we're monitoring the relative humidity with our strategically placed sensors. We're just at the end of our dry fog procedure. We've dispersed all the fog in the clean room. We've waited for our allotted contact time. All we have to do now is turn on the HVAC, ventilate the fog out, collect our humidity sensors, spore strips, and wheel out our dry fog machine, and you have got a disinfected clean room. The Marcor dry fog system, by just monitoring the relative humidity level in the clean room between 65 and 85 percent with simple relative humidity sensors, you know you've dispersed our sterilant everywhere in the clean area. Vaporized hydrogen peroxide, on the other hand, has a very low vapor pressure, needing fans to help disperse the sterilant throughout the clean area. 100% coverage also means no need for spraying and wiping of ceilings and high walls. It's taken care of for you. The Marcor dry fog machine will reduce your labor time in your clean room. No need for physical wiping of walls, floors, and high ceilings. There's also no personal protective equipment needed. And just to give you an example, for about a 10,000 cubic foot clean room, your total procedure time for disinfection is about two hours with ventilation. The most important thing in a clean room procedure is the ability to validate that procedure. MinCare is an EPA registered sporicide. The dispersal method involves complete coverage and our 450 systems installed worldwide are a testimony to the ease of validation of the Marcor dry fog system.
Facility and employee safety is always a concern when using sterilant chemicals. Dry fog was originally developed with MinCare to eliminate hazardous formaldehyde. It has done that very well. It is also a green sterilant, EPA registered and breaking down to acetic acid, CO2, and water. And since it does a vapor phase disinfection, there's no residuals left behind in your facility. Equipment costs are always a concern when you're purchasing a new technology for clean room disinfection. A Marcor system is 50% less than competitive technologies out there. Also, there's very few moving parts, so there's very low maintenance to the system. Ongoing chemical costs are always a concern also. In our typical 10,000 cubic foot clean room, you would use less than half a liter of MinCare.